Rebellion. <laughs> Wonderful welcome early in the morning city Unkulungula Nbusi Our topics are piled up from the bottom of the radio station city Namhlanje again we want to welcome you from the bottom of our heart our topic is to Namhlanje it is hope beyond adversity sipadela pamfundisi pastor ntla po available kane fc not only that as ni speakers it pete also sivulela ngomkhuleko umfundisi mjule ni okonela by trans orange conference kanjalo no elder mkanda also sinika our bible lesson sipate khona lapha ke your radio presenter mfundisi mpele right here on MMR radio station the only multilingual radio station in the SDA church we give you light also sikhumbuza nefuthi ke ngama protocols and procedures uh, about the covid 19 ukuthi uh, we have to continue with the strict regulations whenever as washeni zandla let's keep a safe distance and let us make sure ukuthi everything is observed because this is for our health nkulunkulu anibusi zivuka namhlanje ngesabatha exeni city oh we want to thank Bonke Abalalelayo from the bottom of our heart we want to th- say to you thank you very much we've been receiving messages we've been receiving calls by the might and by his will uh, we will forever continue wangathi you may keep on uh, praying for us we received the number of, of messages from whatsapp uh, youtube we are receiving uh, 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 you know inboxes uh, messages uh, from there not only that even uh, facebook and by the way uh, this is where you can get us uh, our information itilapa uh, mmr radio station this is our email mmr radio station at gmail.com and you can also tune in in youtube you can also subscribe don't forget to subscribe so that you can um, you can be updated every time when we upload something new not only that you can also get a hold of us la pa 0711338487 let me repeat 0711338487 you can also whatsapp us on the same number by the, uh, from the bottom of our heart wonderful morning of the sabbath day of the lord we want to go quickly to the proverb as usual sitlala sifunda a proverb evela unkosi usolomon today we want to trace it back lapha from the book of proverbs chapter 12 sibambe u verse 15 ifundeka kanje ke yona ke ithi the way of a fool is always right to himself <laughs> but the wise man listens to what others have to say remember ukuthi citizen remember we said the book of proverbs separates the king or rather king solomon separates those that are wise and those that are foolish ngama nyamagama ke separate ke yahlukanisa abahlanganiphile nabayizibula noma ilima so the book of proverbs shows you ukuthi lana ubehave njengesilima noma lana ubehave njengomuntu ohlanganiphile namhlanje esithola ithi the way of a fool is always right to himself inkosi yami he bakhona abantu heba ke ithi iserious lento le and and solomon is talking about about it uthi bakhona abantu and labo bantu bayilima ngaso sonke isikhathi nguyo right he he ngaso sonke isikhathi wena o right namathi wena o right mangabe kecatshanwa endlini wena nguwe o right yonke into kuwe u clean you are a saint wena ngu holy holy ngcule ngcwele always laba banye baya blemeka uthi uyislima uthi ububula usolomo uthi the way of a fool is always right to himself kuye hlala right 
Ti. La de la Gudu Ti. Udi pat a wise man listens to what others have to say. Mundo chagan pil. Uya la de la Gudu Abanye. But it. Ayo Gudu ngaso songi skate wena wasalu right. That is not right. Wena wasalu right. Sala pansi. Ga ula le le Abanye bati. You know. You become wiser. You become smarter when you do that. But it. Nam sanjek sin. City from King Solomon. Osivula mehlo ukuthi asingabi abantu abacaba unsihlakani phela ngaso sonke isikhathi wena wahlala uright wena wahlala uright wahlala uright you know always feeding abantu who want to you know always feeding ego yabantu umuntu ahlala wathi uthi ha yimi 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 no 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 sometimes get dingeka ukuthi ngeuhlale phansi ulalela banye ngeuhlale phansi nika banye ithuba ngeuhlale phansi ulalele ukuthi bathini hayi ukuthi wena wahlala uright namhlanje usolomon uthi ungahlala uright ungahlala uzibona uright wena ngaso sonke isikhathi nguwe ngunwe you are a fool sometimes melihlale phansi ulalele ukuthi abanye bathini then take it from there you are a wise man or you are a wise woman ngikunkulu ngathanga nibosisa ekufunde namazwe wakhe asikibele lapha ingoma gcina and friends to open god bless Jehovah lapha from the bottom of our hearts unkunkulu ngathi angabusisa lena ministry iyo music ukuthi iye phambili gcina and friends ekondlweni ke lapha socela ke elder mkandla asifakeleke our bible lessons ke sizwe u Jehovah uthi sibathelene elder mkandla bible lessons message number 6 commandment number 1 come my dear friends join mr mk as we seek the god of grace through prayer kind and gracious father in the heavens above thank you dear lord for the privilege of calling upon your name dear lord we are before you in the need of prayer and today we want to understand what do you mean when you say before you from scripture help us to learn dear lord it is our prayer to god deeper in your word in jesus name amen read for the sixth time exodus 20 the chapter and we're looking at verses 1 to 3 and god spake all these words saying i am the lord thy god which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt out of the house of bondage thou shalt have no other gods before me may the god of the commandments bless the reading of this passage amen when we read the first commandment it leaves us with the impression that we can have other gods as long as they occupy numbers 2 and downwards and jehovah remains number 1 How does the Bible help us to understand what God means by before me? Point number 1. It could be in his temple or church. In Ezekiel 8 the prophet was taken in vision to the temple and saw the 70 elders worshiping gods within the temple. 
It is the greatest form of disrespect as well towards God to bring other gods into his house that is dedicated for his praise and worship alone. Therefore, in commandment number one, he is clear that we should never bring any gods into his temple. These may be brought in physically or in our hearts. And that brings us to point number two. As we learned yesterday, the ancient gods can be classified into power, wealth, and sex. While these may have outward forms of evidence, the same can be harbored in our hearts. As such, Psalm 81, the verses 9 reads, open quotes, There shall no strange god be in thee, neither shall thou worship any strange god. Close quotes and full stop. Jeremiah 17, the verses turn open quotes, I, the Lord, search the heart and test the mind to give every man according to his ways, according to the fruit of his deeds. Full stop and close quotes. Therefore, by extension, first commandment does not speak to issues of practice alone, but attitude and disposition as these rest within our hearts. The longing for the gods of power, wealth, and sex should never find residence in our hearts at any point in our lives. Point number three as we near the end. In his earth. Proverbs 15, the verses 3. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, keeping watch on the evil and the good. Job 28, the verse is 24. For he looks to the ends of the earth and sees everything under the heavens. And lastly, Hebrews 4, the verses 18. And no creature is hidden from his sight, but all are naked and exposed to the eyes of him to whom we must give account. Full stop and close quotes. Therefore, Jehovah literally means no God should ever be accommodated by mankind anywhere on the earth. The earth is before him, and so are we. Of course, the first commandment covers individual worship as well as national and or global worship. It is a very wide commandment by virtue of before me. In conclusion, before we can start dealing with the gods that have been allowed into our churches or our nations, I propose that we start with the ones that are nearest to us and these may be found in our hearts. We do not have the power to defeat them on our own, but the deliverer of Israel is already at the door waiting to be invited in so that he may clean up our hearts and sup with us. Revelation 3, the verses 20 open quotes, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him. And he with me. Close quotes and full stop. Jesus has beaten all the gods before. It does not matter which one is in your heart or mind. It is no match for him. Which god would you want him to kick out on your behalf? Enema Radio Station. Join us every Saturday morning half past nine for we give you light. Lesis Katana Jebaba Sponga, Panukulukufana now, Ossi Protector, Ossi Sigilai, Nana Lesis Kati, Sale Coronavirus, Sadona Jehovah Utuna, Sastrinil, Sisabalankus, Gova Pilai, Hengati Jehovah, Unabanati, Ulisimo, Sibiranga Lankus, when Ababa was ill, which in day Fananale is of fear, Futuna Jehovah, Uyaz, Mutususa. The Santa Sacoso Musancos, Tandu Kulegela is in Cosi, La South Africa, Les Scati Baba, Ava infected, Mother affected by the coronavirus in Cosi, Adanian Cos, Passe Pelela, Natisanda Sacoso Musa, Es Polisa, Es Pilisa in Cosi, Abatin Tancos, Vazu, the Valula Mille and Ababa, Sias in Cos, Gutuena, Gumubatin Til and Cos, Vazo Polar, because the coronavirus in Kulubuna and Jehovah. Our Kalubona in Tefana Nale, Usas Bonile Mandulo, Baba Polisavantanabako, 
na msanje za Throne of Christ saa zinkoso kutu za spoli za wana chokhov na labo ada affected by the coronavirus ngozi nga tunga wana wangkozi imindi nile ila segele imindi nile ina maluma sayi pelela imindi nile ngozi ina korai because of this virus nga tunga wana chokhov wikini sinige za nanja kile siskati tazi zinkosi balu la mili wazi zivane temba wazi zivane ngulu ngulu wazi uti ngulu ngulu wetu skati zonke Enga tinkosi ungapana ati baba siundeni uspolisi wana msanjo sako so musa fava Wikati nje na kukula asa mabalege lako na mapaze wako mkulunguluwa Iwa na vandona bako vile suskati sana nje chohova Saba kulege la kusi ni mindeni E nga sebe nzile suskati chohova Wena provider ugu wila provider Ishia ita provider konki Abakti nga wana mkulunguluwa nga wesulua iluto Inga stembele wana mkulunguluwa Adafuni ni sebenzi siyazo na nkosu kutu na aso isanja So kutu suhu ulu msebenzi Even if nkosu the country is going down because of coronavirus That's when you are able nkosu Ukvula ituba ulu msebenzi nkosu kutu Mpana vakoba sebenzi Bonke nkosu ava soe legle siskati Nga tunabana avu nkosu Kukule siskati wena avu chokhova Because baso lele wena mkulu mkulu Mpana vanta na bako Kusatana nga lali nga avu chokhova kuwana wena Protect us, Jehovah. Father, because the Lord Jesus and the Kanda it, we are not going to be able to see the sea. For seeing us, teen, teen, I got a sister who is going to be prepared and has a song is called Jehovah. Since the Lord is going to be able to see the sea, we are not going to be able to see the sea. Enga tinzo pila, we are going to be able to see the sea. We are not going to be able to see the sea. We are not going to be able to see the sea. We are not going to be able to see the sea. Ujehova Abenat sibonga kakhulu ngomkhuleko mfundisi mjuleni si ngena mfundisi inhlapho osipha izwi lokuphila This morning I would like to take this time and greet everyone greet our listeners in the most wonderful precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ amen on this beautiful Sabbath morning, the Spirit of God took me by the hand and led me to a passage of Scripture found in 2 Kings chapter 6, verses 15 through 17. And I read this beautiful passage in your hearing. When the servant of the man of God got up and went out early the next morning, an army with horses and chariots had surrounded the city. Oh, my Lord, what shall we do? The servant asked. Don't be afraid, the prophet answered. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. And Elisha prayed, Oh, Lord, open his eyes so he may see. Then the Lord opened the servant's eyes, and he looked and saw the hills full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. May the Lord pour a generous blessing upon the reading of his word. You know, my brother, my sister, you and I live in perilous times and in times of uncertainty when humanity is gripped with fear and anxiety about the future. Unemployment is soaring high. Sickness and disease has blanketed the nation with the coronavirus claiming thousands of lives globally. Humanity is embraced uh, by the cold clashes of hopelessness and despair. Even though the streets and the hills, the rivers and fountains are taken over by the scourge of racism, uh, by ethnic strife, by the killing of women, femicide in our land, even by this virus, the coronavirus, we, like the servant of Elisha, join in the chorus and the outburst of collective pain, and we cry out, Oh Lord, what shall we do? Oh, that cry of the servant, that cry of the servant of the man of God was no ordinary cry. It was a lamentation. It was a wailing. It was a cry of despair, a cry of desperation, a cry of helplessness. Yes, it was a cry of hopelessness. It 
was a cry that acknowledged that humanity cannot deal with situations of adversity and that man has no capacity to turn his situation around and that there is no vaccine to the socio-political, the socio-economic, the socio-spiritual ills of this sin-filled, corrupted, post-modern world. It was a cry that reminds us that help will not come from within us, but that help will come from outside of us. Oh, let's rephrase that and say help will come from above us. In this passage of scripture, in this narrative, my brother, my sister, the servant was confronted with an all-consuming prospect of certain defeat. He felt outnumbered and hopelessly overpowered by the gallant forces of the Syrian army, whose military pursuits were known far and wide. His was no ordinary question. It was a statement of defeat. It was a human expression of incapacity and lack of remedial resource. It was a recognition of human limitation and frailty. It was a cry for divine intervention. His was a passionate, faith-filled and spirit-filled cry. But hidden deep in that question was the primary question, does God care? Does he care when we are surrounded by enemies? Does he care that despite the fact that we have worked for him, we have been with Elisha throughout his prophetic ministry. We have worked for God. Why are we surrounded today so early in the morning by adversity? Why are our enemies all around us? Why are we outnumbered? Why are, you, are we overpowered this morning? Oh Lord, what shall we do? He looked towards Elisha. Even though the target was one man, even though the target was Elisha, the armies of the Arameans, the Syrians, surrounded the entire city of Dothan. Oh, the city of Dothan, the historic city of Dothan. According to Genesis chapter 37, Dothan was a place where Joseph had been thrown into a well by his brothers. It was a place where Joseph was sold off to the merchants of Ishmael. When odds were set against Joseph, when he stared defeat in the eye, when he felt the cold clutches of betrayal from his brothers, God was working his salvation. God was working his destiny. But in the desperation, the fear, and the anxiety of this young man, Joseph, God was already cooking somewhere his way out from that situation. The hand of God would lead and direct the path of Joseph from the pit to the palace, from the guttermost to the uppermost, from desperation to deliverance in the similar situation, hopeless situation, centuries later, in the same city, and arguably in the very spot where Joseph had been saved, God revealed his mighty power through one man, not Joseph this time, but through another man, a man who had increased and multiplied the poor widow's oil and saved the family. A man who had raised the son of a Shunammite woman from death. A man who had sanitized and purified the pot of stew from poison. Oh yes, they were looking for one man. The soldiers were there, the best unit of soldiers that they could pick 
police had come and surrounded the entire city, looking for one man, a man who had healed Naaman from leprosy, a man who could hear innermost secrets of the king while the king was reclining in his bedroom. They were looking for one man, a man God had used in a colorful prophetic ministry. My brother, my sister, this morning, this beautiful Sabbath morning, surrounded by all the anxiety, uncertainty, and the hopelessness all around us in this country and beyond. Coronavirus, perhaps you and I have got to look at another man. Oh no, not Joseph, not Elisha, my brother, my sister. But there's another man you and I have got to look at this morning. And his name is Jesus. Psalm 121 verse 1 says, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help comes from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee shall not slumber. Ooh, I love verse 5. I'm excited with this promise. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right, right, right hand. Oh, help me, Jesus. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Don't worry, Elisha says. Don't worry. Something is going to happen right now. You stand over there and behold the hand of God moving on the streets of the land, on the hills, on the rivers, the fountains of the land. Don't you be afraid, the prophet answered. For those who are with us are more than those who are with them. Oh, my brother, my sister, no unemployment, no femicide, no ethnic strife, no racism, no coronavirus formed against us shall prosper. We've got to look up to Jesus and live. We've got to look up to him, for their lives are deliverance, for their lives are redemption. Oh, Lord, open his eyes so he may see. Then the Lord opened the servant's eyes. And he looked and saw the hill full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. It doesn't matter what you're going through right now. It doesn't matter what you're confronted with. Is it unemployment? Is it famine? Is it poverty? Don't you worry. You don't have to be alone anymore. You don't have to be afraid anymore. I've come to tell everybody this morning through the sound waves that you don't have to be afraid anymore. The song says, turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face. And the things, yes, it doesn't matter what things they are. The things of this earth will grow strangely deep in the light of God's glory and His grace. We will be saved by God's grace. Amen, somebody. Yes, my brother, my sister, there is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins and sinners plunged beneath the flood will lose their guilty stains, lose all their guilty stains, lose their guilty stains, and sinners plunged beneath that flood will lose their guilty stains. We've got to look up to Jesus. May the Lord open our eyes. It doesn't matter what is going on with the economy of this country. It doesn't matter, my brother, my sister. Our destiny is guaranteed already. 
May the Lord open our eyes. May we see his hand moving in our lives. May we see the Lord seated on the throne. May we know that God is in control. God is in charge in the throne room. He is belting out and sending instructions to angels, deploying them in our homes, in our communities, to say to us, even though there are tears, even though there's sorrow in this dark, sin-filled world, soon, oh yes, and very soon, God will manifest himself, and humanity will see that indeed it is God. It has always been God. He was there all the time. When we lost the jobs, he was there. When we didn't have a roof above our heads, he was there. When we sometimes went to bed without food, God was there. Yes, it is God who sustained us. For this coronavirus came. It will pass. Not because of a vaccine in a lab. No. Because it is God. It has always been God. Open our eyes, Lord, so that we may see the horses and the chariots of fire all around the righteous. David says, I was young and now I'm old. I've never seen the righteous forsaken and his offspring begging for bread. May God be with you on this Sabbath day. May God bless you and shower you generously with his amazing grace. Let us look beyond the virus. Let us look beyond unemployment. Let us look beyond the pain that we see all around us in our communities and look unto Jesus and see his wonderful face. This is my prayer to you, dear listeners. This is Hey! Hope beyond adversity. MMR radio station. We want to say to you all continue. Do not forget to subscribe YouTube channel so that we can uh, so that we can uh, continuously update you when there is something happening on the MMR radio station. The only multilingual radio station. We give you light. This is the only presenter, Pastor Mfundi Simuruti Mbele. Sit Jehovah Abenani. I'm out. Say happy Sabbath, Sabbath Rakanaka.